Welcome back, everybody. So, uh, we're gonna explore the rest of the bazaar. Uh, let's start by looking around. This man looks a bit like Amenhotep from The Mummy. More, uh, anachronisms and fourth wall breaking. It looks like the skin of a large spotted cat creature. You see a pile of hides. It seems to be a woven basket. You see the racks of animal skins. It is a tray made of brass. It looks like an enormous brass bottle. You see a basket of mixed fruit. You see a basket of oranges. It's a bunch of ripe bananas. The fruit seller sits patient, patiently on his carpet as he tries to sell fruit. You guess they are enormous wooden whatnots. Alright, so let's uh, talk to this guy. Let's ask about... Uh, actually, let's, let's greet him. You greet the leather worker. Missouri, buona. Let's... Uh, Oh, I can't tell him about Shapir. Okay. Let's ask about his goods. I have many animal hides and leather items for sale, as you can see. Uh, let's ask about, uh, price. The price I charge will depend upon the item. Let's ask about rumors. I do not gossip. Buona. Uh, let's ask about leather. I make things from leather. Alright, well, he is, uh. There's not much to say. Let's see if we can buy something. Make purchase. <clears throat> uh, we have a hundred royals. And a water skin costs 200 commons, and a zebra skin costs five royals. Um. Just for the heck of it, let's buy a water skin. Uh, let's try bargaining for it. The current price for the water skin is 200 commons. So in this game, uh, they let you basically set the price. So, uh... Let's try and get it for, uh... I don't know. 135 commons. That's just too low. So he's lowered it now to 191 commons. Uh, let's try and get it for 150. But that's as high as I'm going. That is still too low. He lowered it to 185. Uh, let's try 165. Missouri Bona. It is good. Okay, so you see, it's kind of like if you ever watched um, Antiques Roadshow or one of those shows uh, where you have to haggle, so it, you really got to fight with the price. I I'm curious what would have happened if I offered like one common, um, but yeah, uh, we should have gotten some points out of that. Uh, how do you see points again? Uh, I think points are... No, that's magic. Over here. Where do you see the score of the game? Oh, over here in our character sheet. So, we got some puzzle points for that. And our paladin points, uh... Why not? And this is lower paladin points than we actually had before. Um, our honor all also changed. Now, out of curiosity, I just want to see, did our honor go up or down? I'm going to restore the game real quick. And, uh, talk to this guy. And I'm going to try and buy... Actually, hold on, before I do that, 
Let me uh, see what my honor was. Okay, so I didn't lose any points. Uh, unfortunately, you have to uh, keep tabs on these things. Uh, let's see if we can get it for even less. Um, we'll bargain. It's going to take a while to get it low enough. Maybe this is a built-in uh, mechanic, so... Uh, I think his uh, first offer price was 191 so if we go all the way down to 100 let's see what he offers. He says that's too low. Yeah, he says 191 so uh, I think we eventually got it for 165 And he lets us get it for that. Okay. Um, I'm happy with that. Let's walk over here. Fruit. Fruit of the finest fruit. Fruit, the finest fruit. Does your mouth not crave the sweet juices of passion fruit, Offendi? Uh, maybe. To which merchant do you wish to speak? To this merchant. Fruit man. Let's ask about fruit. Ah, what fruit do you desire? All that you could ever wish I have here. Pineapples, papayas, passion fruit, coconuts and limes, bananas, dates and oranges. Purchase and eat to your heart's delight. Let's, um... Narak Saeed, Effendi. May you have a fruitful day. Let's ask him about the price. The price of fruit is a mere pittance compared to the pleasure the fruit gives. You may have six of the fruits of your choice, but for fifty copies. Let's ask about rumors. There has been talk that Tarna is going to war with the Simbani. Very bad for business wars. I am Samra bin Bala. The seller of succulent sensations for the mouth. Mmm. Um, so, uh, let's see if we can buy some fruit. Um, let's bargain for it. I'll go to half price. And see what he says. Would you, wealth, wealthy beyond dreams, quibble with a poor man over a few commons? I would. Let's try 35. This is the finest, freshest fruit you can buy. Surely such quality demands some respect and more money. Uh, he went down to 46, so let's see if we can get it for 40. Very well, Effendi. You will make me a poor man while you enjoy yourself with my fruit. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know. I'm just trying to save my coin. And did our stats change at all? Our communication has uh, gone up, which is good, because communication is an important skill to have. Uh, and there's nobody else around here to talk to, so let's uh, walk this way. And uh, it's night time, um, so if we walk down here, you'll see that the streets are bare now. And we will return here... Uh, on the next day to uh, visit the rest of the marketplace, bazaar, whatever. Uh, but there's another place we can go at night that we haven't been to yet. And that's the inn. So, Ahura said that she uh, set a room for us. Let's uh, check it out. Uh, check it out. Habari Buana, Narak Said Effendi. Welcome to the Welcome Inn, son of a sultan. I am known as the Welcome Woman. Krisha, the mother of magic, has a room for you here. It is the first door on the right after you go up the stairs. I hope it will serve you well. I must return to work now, but if you would like a meal, just take a seat at one of the tables. Uh, 
Okay. Let's uh, look around this place. You are in Tarn Tarnus Finest Eating Establishment. Of course, it is the only eating establishment in Tarnus. It also has rooms for rent upstairs. Welcome to the Welcome Inn. Uh, let's look around. Let's look at this person. You see a young woman wearing nice clothing. It's a silly clown from Trial by Fire. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't remember if in my playthrough we actually saw the silly clowns. Um, I did mention the menu option. Uh, but there is a hallway in which uh, literally silly clowns walk by. And you might notice in the background that the sun is setting. Uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, if we uh, look up in our menu, we could uh, check the time. And sun will be setting. So let's look at this woman. You see a woman wearing colorful clothing. Look over here. You see a man wearing Egyptian clothing. Because apparently Egypt is in this world. You see a man dressed in an elegant Arabic costume. You see someone who looks like he is from North Fricana. And the amount of food on his plate, that must be Oliver from the programming team. Amazing what some folks will do to get a good meal. Alright, what's this? Candles up here. With hope... You hope you never end up with the job of replacing all those candles when they burn out. You can see a doorway to the outside. The stairs lead up to the sleeping rooms. Actually, the stairs just sort of lie there, but... You can take them up to the sleeping rooms. No, you better not take them after all. People would stare. Uh, let's look at this bulletin board. And read the first note. If you have need of magic, I shall be honored to serve you. Krisha. Potions, pills, and positivity. Visit the apothecary for all your health needs. Good vibrations and potations for everyone. You need it, we got it. See us in the bazaar, the newly used emporium of irregular antiques and interesting items. Okay. Laws of Tarna. Thou shalt harm none. Thou shalt not use magic upon the streets of Tarna. Thou shalt not take that which is not thine. Thou shalt behave, your, behave with honor. And uh, that's really all that's on the bulletin board. It's not like the previous games where uh, there was some quest posted. But uh, we're going to sit. And the uh, welcome woman will come and... Uh, Help us eat. Hello, hair of sunshine. What can I do for you? Uh, let's say hello. You greet the welcome woman. Marhaba, Fendi. You are most welcome, he who is polite. Let's tell about Shapir. You tell the welcome woman about your adventures in Shapir. You are indeed quite a hero, seeker of peace. Let's uh, flirt with her. You will melt my heart with such talk. You are of the talented tongue. Are you as skilled in deeds as in words? Um, let's see if we can ask her a question. Let's ask about the inn. This inn is always open to serve you. There is a room awaiting you upstairs. Let's ask about the room. The user of great magic, Krisha, has reserved a room for you upstairs. Your room is the first on the right and has safe storage inside. Let's ask about Krisha. Of all the lion tours in Tarna, Krisha, may her magic always be mighty, is the one who lives in the human section of Tarna. She is respected by all and a member of the Council of Judgment. Let's ask about the Council. The Council of Judgment and Raja, may he reign forever, rule Tarna. Let's ask about the section. The humans of Tarna live in the western section. The lion tours live over in the eastern section. Let's ask about price. The expense of the room will be covered by she who has magic, Krisha. Let's ask about storage. 
In your room you will find a chest that only you can open. You can use it to store extra items. Um, let's ask about her name. My name is Jana Jamil, which means beautiful paradise in Arabic. Let's ask about the restaurant. Like all good inns, this has a very good restaurant. We serve meals from dawn until midnight. Many who live with us in the city dine with us. Let's ask about meals. Each day we serve a different main course. All meals come with a salad, vegetables, and warm bread with butter. Just ask for the menu of the day. Let's ask about residents. Most humans who live in Tarna will not be able to speak your language unless they are merchants. However, Khatib Mukaram, the survivor of the peace mission, comes here sometimes and used to speak your language well. Let's ask about merchants. There are many merchants in the bazaar of Tarna. Let's ask about survivor. Khatib Mukaram was once a brilliant speaker and diplomat for Tarna. Since he returned from the peace mission, he has been very ill and seldom speaks. Let's ask about the mission. Before you arrived here, the rulers of Tarna spent out some diplomats, sent out some diplomats to meet with the leopard men in the jungle. Only Karib returned, which is why he is called the survivor. Hmm. Let's ask about, uh... Did we ask about residents? Yeah, we did. Let's ask about, uh, service. You have only to be seated upon a pillow, and I will enter to serve you as best I may. Did we ask about Tarna? Tarna is a large city and kingdom. The stairs down from this plateau lead to the bazaar where merchants of many lands sell their goods. From the stair above us, you can see the entrances to the Hall of Judgment and King's Chambers. Above all in Tarna is the Temple of Sekhmet, where the Lion Tours worship the Great Goddess. May she protect us all. Let's ask about the bazaar. The bazaar is the place where you will find almost anything for sale. It is an experience and a pleasure shopping there. Let's ask about Judgment. The Hall of Judgment is where all laws and decisions are made for Tarna. Ask about Chambers. I am told that the king, long may he rule, has his throne that room there. So that's what Sekhmet. Sekhmet, daughter of the sun, is the goddess of Tarna. So that's what temple. The temple of Sekhmet is for lion tours only. No human may enter there. So that's what lion tours. Lion tours are the rightful rulers of Tarna. Uh, so I pretty much asked about everything. Uh, the one thing I haven't done is ordered a meal, so let's do that. You order a meal. I will bring your meal right out. Ooh, look at that little flirty move she made towards us. Very good. Now the reason I'm making sure that I ask all the questions is because I haven't memorized how to get all the points, and I also know that the more I talk, the more communication I get. Here is your feast. May it please you. Mmm, this looks strange, but smells delicious. You pay the welcome woman for your meal. Be welcome, and may you enjoy it. Uh, I'd like to look at her, but unfortunately, uh, I can't while she's on the screen. You enjoy your meal. It was very tasty, even if it was a bit strange. Let's see if we can talk to these guys. She just stares at you. You guess she doesn't understand your language. The man answers... Mafim Tish Afemdi. Uh, I'm not a linguist, but I am pretty sure that Mafim is Arabic for I don't understand. Uh, so Mafim Tish might be uh, another dialect or something. The clown waves at you and says something silly. She says, Mafim Tish. He responds, responds Mafim Tish. The man ignores you. He says something like, mm -hmm. Either he doesn't understand your language, or he talks with his mouth full. 
All right, guys, so that's pretty much everything we're going to do today. Um, there are things to do at night, but uh, we're not going to venture anywhere else today. We're just going to look at our room. So let's look around. You see a rounded, short table. The flame of the candle lights up the room. You see a nice blue pillow. You see a large, empty, decorative pot. A woven reed mat lies in front of your bed. The bed looks soft and comfortable. The room is spacious and comfortable. You admire the distant mountains. You have a nice view of the city and the savannah beyond this window. The huge chest looks like a good place to store those things you really don't need to carry around everywhere. Okay, so uh, you can actually put things in that chest uh, that you don't need. But considering I'm not even at half my maximum capacity, uh, I'm just going to hold on to everything for now. And I'm going to go to bed. And I will sleep till morning. So I get a little animation of time passing on the outside of my window. And the sun rises. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. And, uh, I wish there was a pause button, but, oh, it says game paused. All right, so this actually is a pause. Uh, and we will continue, uh, completing our little excursion in the bazaar in the next video. Thanks, guys. See you next time.